Hello, my name is Jonathan Gondon. I'm a professor at Ohio State University, and my goal is to walk you through a little bit of who I am and what I do at OSU. So I have a website, www.godbotlaboratory.com. You can read more about me, and also you can follow me on Twitter at godbotlabosu. So I'm the co-director of the Neuroscience Graduate Program, faculty director of the Chronic Brain Injury Program, and co-director of a T32 in Neuroimmunology. I'm a faculty advisor in several of the grad programs at OSU, including the Biomedical Science Program, Ohio State Biochemistry, Neuroscience, and NS MSTP. I'm a member of several societies. I think the ones that probably I attend the most would be Society for Neuroscience, Psychoneuroimmunology, and the National Neurotrauma meetings. Where did I grow up? I grew up in Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, I'm a graduate of Manchester Central High School, which is the same school Ryan Day and Adam Sandler went to. And uh, this is a picture from Webb Lake uh, in Maine. My parents have a summer home, so I grew up with uh, a lot of water and mountains around me, which is a little different than what we have here at Ohio State. And this is my family and my sister's wedding on the lake. I went to school at the University of Illinois where I did my training in cell and structural biology. I ended up staying at Illinois, did my graduate work in pathology, doing a biochemistry related project with Greg Freund, and even stayed again for a postdoc position with Rodney Johnson where I did more neuroimmunology behavior. I came to OSU in 2005 as part of the IBMR, which is, is this now uh, beautifully located building on the Med Center campus with no windows. Um, great research space, however, and some great collaborators. And I've had a, a pleasure of collaborating with many um, top immunologists, behavioral scientists, and uh, immunologists on campus. Uh, these are some probably outdated pictures. We usually do our pictures in the spring. Uh, it didn't happen this past spring uh, for a couple of different reasons. Um, but we have a good number of grad students in the lab and uh, we try to have, have fun when we can. Um, what kind of support do we have? Uh, generally, we're, we're operating with uh, one or several R01 awards. We have a close collaborator in John Sheridan. We've had uh, several grants with his lab. Uh, Phil Popovich and I are the, are the directors of the T32. I've also had grants with uh, Nikki Kakaiko Cochran and Michelle Basso. We have several pending grants, including two R01s and an R21, so uh, should be able to take on new students every year uh, that, that we're looking for students. A lot of my students are supported by T32s, including Shane O'Neill, Damon DeSabato, Ren Yin, and Zoe Tapp. So, we have a way of funding students in multiple different ways. What um, classes and meetings participate in, as I said in the beginning, generally you'll find me at the Psychoneuroimmunology meeting, the National Trauma Society meeting, and Society for Neuroscience. We also like to go to some of the FASIP summer courses. This year actually attended one virtually. Local meetings, there's tons of them. Uh, you'll see us at OSCMC Research Day, IBMR Research Day, CBI Research Day, Hayes sometimes, and just about any OSU uh, research forum we try to attend. My students generally take uh, neurobiology courses, uh, journal clubs relevant to that, injury-related ones, um, neurobiology disease, immunology courses, and also, uh, we'd like our students to take psychology-based stats. Where do we publish? Well, my lab is interested in neuroimmunology and neurotrauma, so these are, tend to be where we, we publish our work. Uh, a lot of our stress stuff will go to molecular psychiatry, biological psychiatry, um, general neuroscience. Our trauma work will be in brain behavior immunity, glia, general neurotrauma, general neuroinflammation aging, uh, neurobiology of aging, glia. So mid, mid, mid to upper tier journals for, for the work that we do in the lab. Where have my trainees ended up? Um, you know, I think a lot of them have come right out of the lab and, and done a postdoc opportunity, and some of these now are uh, professors. Uh, Eric Wollob and Dan McKim, for example, are assistant professors, one at University of Cincinnati, and, 
uh, one at University of Illinois. So what am I interested in? It's this in between. Uh, neurominology is a kind of a tweener uh, discipline, but it's in between psychology, neuroscience, and immunology, and that sort of gold nugget here um, in the in the middle is what we're after: this neuroimmune coordination between multiple biological systems. Uh, one of the kind of main premises that we inter that we work with is this interaction between the brain and the immune system and how it changes with age, stress, or injury. A lot of our focus has been on brain microglia, which are the resident macrophages, and how they interpret signals from the periphery and how they recapitulate those signals to change behavior. Uh, one of our hallmarks of what we do is this idea of priming or sensitization, where the tissue macrophage of the brain, the microglia become primed or sensitized by an injury or by a stressful experience or by age. And then what the consequence of this is, is that a secondary immune challenge or secondary injury can cause an amplified activation of these cells for a longer duration. And you see this kind of more chronic inflammation. And we think that chronic inflammation in any of these courses uh, of, of, of happenings will be negative. One of our funded projects is this intersection between age, neuroimmunology, behavior, where we're really looking at these changes in glial interactions in the age brain. And this one ties in with astrocytes. So we're looking at changes in astrocytes that may affect the microglia and lead to some other dysregulated responses. As I stated in the slide before, we're interested in priming. We're also interested in how those signals from uh, microglia should be shut off normally. And we think astrocytes are important in that. We've had some uh, interesting discoveries with what happens in the age brain in terms of astrocytes. And this is uh, our one fund funded project that we're trying to understand this astrocyte microglia interaction. One of our other projects is traumatic brain injury. We use a midline fluid percussion injury model. Again, we're interested in this intersection between neurology and behavior, causing diffuse axonal injury with this model. Um, and one of the things that we see in this model as well is that we see this active profile of microglia after injury, but with time, it doesn't really go away and we see this more chronically activated profile of microglia that we, we think is, is primed. And we also see a, a profile that, that may be dysfunctional. So part of our aims are one, to prevent this profile from happening using certain anti-inflammatory interventions in our mice, but also if this priming profile develops, can we take it away? And these have been the, the main sort of aims of our lab recently, uh, trying to do, the, to do this. And a final project that we're involved in is with uh, Dr. John Sheridan in the IBMR, and this is the Stress Neuroimmunology Behavior Project. We've had a lot of uh, people come through our labs to work on this. This is using a repeated social defeat model of psychological stress. And what's unique about this model is that you see a really profound central and peripheral immune response that converge, where we see not only microglia activation, but we see the release and attraction of peripheral monocytes to the brain. And the connection between these two systems drives inflammation and leads to prolonged behavioral deficits. So, we have several projects related to this idea with intervention and with understanding the long-term consequences of stress, not only on microglia, but on monocytes and on neurons. So with that, I'd like to conclude and just, see, just say if you like anything you've heard from my talk, to please contact me. You can read more about me on uh, our website or departmental websites. Uh, contact me by email jonathan.godbout at osumc.edu. And also you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, but look forward to hearing from any interested students and we're happy to have you uh, rotate this year. So thank you.